Officers down in front of the bank. Automatic weapons being fired. Easy, 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 easy. You want to drive or can I drive? There's a Bad Boys reference. There's a reference to The Rock in this movie. So what is each of your personal favorite Bay movie? The Rock. Bad Boys. <laughs> yeah. All right, if you were to insert yourself into either of those films, who would you, who would you be? For me, it's always a toss-up in every movie if Ed Harris is in it. I kind of always want to be Ed Harris. Yeah, is that right? But I always feel like it's really just wanting to be as good of an actor as Ed Harris. <laughs> I would just want, I would want to be a third wheel. I wouldn't, I wouldn't replace anybody in Bad Boys. I, I would want to be the third wheel. I would completely mess up the chemistry because they'd be like, who is this dude in the back seat? You know what I'm saying? My personal favorite is 13 Hours, actually. I always say that Michael Bay thrives on small budget. I think that that's the best Michael Bay. And I just love it because he really needs to rely on the performances, on characters, and really building things out of nothing because he just doesn't have the budget. So it's when he gets more creative. I'm going to go with Bad Boys because Pain Game was a great time. But Bad Boys, it's the character building. It's the, they were so hard on us. Literally, when Will's acting at 12 hours, the lights would shut off. I'm like, in the middle of a take. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And they were just very tough on us. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry that I brought you into this. I just wanted things to be the way they used to be. How would you describe the process of working on a Michael Bay movie? How did it live up to what you expected? It really um, landed when we wrapped the movie because, as you said, it was such a hectic, quick, uh, intense shoot schedule. And then when I wrapped, I was like, what did I just do? Because of the nature of the shooting, um, he'd be like, say this. And you're like, okay, I'll say it. And then you wrap the day and you're like, what did I say in this scene? Oh my God, am I gonna be embarrassed? But the, the, the nature of shooting like that, it adds such intense adrenaline. And I think that even though it's a Michael Bay movie, I think it's like the most intense Michael Bay movie in the sense it's just so contained and so emotionally, it just grabs you and doesn't let you go for two an hour, two hours and 15 minutes. I think the whole cast was fantastic. And you never know what you get. You never know the vibe you're gonna, uh, the, the chemistry you're gonna have. And uh, it worked out really well. Working with Michael, you know, uh, requires a game attitude, uh, you know, requires to come in, sort of be all hands on deck. Uh, Jake's a really good actor, a generous guy, uh, that's a kind guy, uh, and you know he's playful. And I think we, you know, I followed Jake's lead, and we both wanted the same things out of the movie and out of the brotherhood. You know, you know he's, you know, he's a, a Yale trained actor. I mean, he's he's very. The questions he asks are just totally on point. They're trying to figure out the holes in the scene and try and fill them with behavior and and and. He's looking, he's a detective, he's looking for those clues as an actor. And I think that's, that to me was really inspiring. And then we met in person. And he's just a humble, kind person who has five siblings of his own. I'm very close with my siblings, he's very close with his. I think we understood what that relationship is. And we kind of both fell into it very easily. That's my brother, Will. I could use some help. My wife needs this surgery. This is real life. How's that right? You put your life down on the line for this country? You leave your family, your home? How much do you need? 231. I mean, that idea of being able to be in your home city and drive all around it, you know, what, what really um, intrigued you about giving us kind of this uh, ambulance driving tour? One thing I became good at as a director was sweet talking people into giving me things, such as a space shuttle, an asset that's never been given before, I got it on two movies, or uh, the Pyramid of Giza, they had shot on that in 40 years. And for some reason, cops around the world love my movies, okay? We got 52 real cops uh, in this movie. Because this was a low-budget movie done in 38 days. And first day, when a crew of 10, we're doing some inserts of the, of the ambulance driving on a freeway, but has to drive with traffic. And I see five highway patrol cars roll up. And I'm like, oh, they had to be there because the location manager brought them for safety. And then three motorcycle cops. And I'm like, hey, hi, would you guys like to be in a movie? And they go, sure. I'm like, can you guys give me a rolling block? We're going 90 miles an hour on a live freeway. Granted, it was less busy because of COVID, but, uh, and they were playing with the ambulance and it looks totally authentic. We're just trying to get home. We don't get to walk off into the sunset. I have a plan. Ugh. What I want to do is a study of tension. I, it's like the DOS boat thing. I want to be in that ambulance. I, I, I operate camera all the time, even though the unions hate that I do that, but that's how I've been doing it for 30 years. I've been doing these type of stunts probably more than any director with these ratchets and these dangerous things, but you got to know a lot about physics. 
And I, you see me raise my hands because that was a perfectly planned stunt. It looks very dangerous, but that's movie magic. And uh, you, have to, you have to know this stuff very, very well and you have to work with the very best crew. What was the scene that then when you saw it, you were like, whoa, this was different than what I remember uh, being in that ambulance? I think that most of the, you know, I was really, really nervous about being able to deliver smoothly and organically all the medical jargon and really making her feel grounded and real and not like a cartoon version of her. And I hope that doesn't come across that way. We got a brother cop on board. Do you have EMT experience? Combat three eyes. You're a soldier? Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I could just like, after the first 10 minutes, I was like, okay, I can relax. That feels pretty good. We're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get old. Favorite Bayism. So, you know, there's, you know, the slow mo walk, that low angle hero shot. What was the one that you were most excited to be a part of? Did we get our. Slow mo walk, walking shot. Did we get that? It we was didn't coming. Really we, get didn't, it. we didn't get it. We set it up. But you know we what I'm talking it. about. No, 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 we it, got it. it. Was, this movie was shot like run and gun. I mean, we yeah. were so, it was so fast. So, all these are. We did the. We did the tracking shot, you know, the circle tracking shot with the zooms. We did that. We got them all in. But we didn't have that sort of like same kind of We didn't of get focus. to milk it. No, you know, we, we didn't no, get no, no, like. No, no, we didn't get to milk it. We didn't get the, the that like close lens on a slow mo yeah, yeah, two yeah. brothers shot. We got a we got like a four shot. You got a really good intro with the uh, with the oh, garage with the thing, door coming the garage, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the, the yeah with the garage door coming up. Yeah. Danny, everybody knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your helos out of here now. As Ridley Scott says, the the hardest and, and most fun. Thing for a director is to create the world, and that's what I like doing.